r slash ask reddit what did a teacher do that made you automatically gain respect for them i had a professor that made it crystal clear that if we ever made an appointment and didn't show up he'd take five points off of our final grade i tried to find him during office hours and he wasn't available i told him that i deserved an extra five points because he wasn't available when he said he would be and he gave it to me in the interest of fairness People who stay true to their teachings are always great, provided that their teachings are moral. In my first year of high school, my class decided to play a simple prank on our English SOS teacher, by all laughing when he faced the board, and then stopping every time he turned around to face us. After a few minutes of this, he just left the classroom without a word. We all sat there, confused, until a few minutes later the assistant principal comes in and explains that we've really upset our teacher. He made us believe we'd seriously ducked up. Then our teacher walked in and pretty much went gotcha. That son of a beach had our respect from then on. The most badass part of this is him managing to get the vice principal in on it as well. Clearly he had his boss's respect too. Mr. Halpert. Hey, Vice Principal Scott, could you uh, give me a hand with something? Vice Principal Scott, of course Mr. Halpert, I'm a friend first, boss second, probably entertainer third. My high school science teacher paused class to rip a student apart for bullying another student, called it out as soon as it happened, in front of everyone, and that bully never went near that other kid again, will always remember that. A math teacher went to the hospital several times to visit a student who had been seriously injured in an accident. The teacher offered companionship, free tutoring, and genuine encouragement. I don't ever reply to posts, just read. With that said, I had a doctor as a kid that visited me in the hospital that was 50 or so miles out of his way when I broke my arm. I was flabbergasted when he walked in the room. We talked for over an hour. I still remember Dr. Adame to this day. He made me feel like more than a patient. Math teacher. I don't care if you have good grades or bad grades. If you work hard, I will work harder to make you pass. He worked hard for me. I passed. Told us a joke about his name before we could and allowed us to eat during his classes because kids your age can't help being hungry all the time. As long as we did it quietly, great guy, his whole attitude made all of us actually pay attention and do our best. One of my teacher's name is Mrs. Cocaine, yes pronounced like the drug, and made the first joke about it. English teacher in high school asked where my homework was, responded I forgot to do it and he said to the rest of the class why can't you guys be like scratch that, he doesn't come up with some excuse he just tells me he didn't do it. LOL. I would always tell my teachers, I didn't finish it sounds a bit better than I didn't do it. I moved out of home during high school. It was stressful, to say the least. I started to fall behind in assignments. I would be absent for days a time. I missed tests etc I ended up explaining the bare minimum of my situation to my English teacher. And their response always stuck with me. Just do what you can. It may not seem like much, but right then and there. For 16 year old kid who felt like simply living was a burden. It was everything. I actually have stress dreams about this kind of thing. Like I've been missing classes and falling behind for some reason. That feeling of dread is no good at all. Or some of your teacher to understand. When I was a kid we had to purchase these red punch cards to get lunch at school. Unfortunately we didn't have that much money so there were times where my punch card would run out and I wasn't able to eat for a while until we got enough money to repurchase another one. Why nobody in my family applied for assistance was beyond me. Full stop. I had one teacher who noticed I wasn't eating every day and she would bring an extra sandwich and offer it to me whenever she saw that. I really didn't understand how kind that was when I was a kid but obviously as an adult that was such an amazing gesture of kindness. In middle school I went through something similar, would just go to my social studies class instead of the cafeteria for lunch bc I never had food. A teacher started leaving a few dollars on my desk and would let me get lunch and eat with her. I ate with her most of my 8th grade year and I'd always bring her her money that I got, like for day holiday, to try to pay her back. She'd just put it in her drawer and give it back to me later. I remember that to this day and I try to make sure I have change and 1s on me at all times for any of my students who need it, as well as keeping my bottom drawer stocked with snacks, 
My students always know they can count on me for food if they are hungry. I had a physical education teacher who organized basketball, volleyball, handball and football tournaments, organized Olympic games for the local kids and taught us dancing on weekends, on his own, just for us kids, because we lived in a remote place without many activities and things going on, he was more than a simple teacher. Junior year of high school, English class, we were discussing a story we had read, one student, let's call him Carl, made a point, the teacher was dismissive and basically said Cole was wrong. The next day, after we took our seats the teacher said, before we begin, I was thinking about what Carl said yesterday, I was wrong to dismiss it so quickly, let's take a look at that again. He then went on to repeat Carl's point and initiate a conversation with the entire class. After the conversation, it became apparent Carl's point was indeed off base, but I was impressed the teacher publicly owned his mistake and went down the path he should have. I remember my first math class in college. I didn't take any math my senior year of high school because I finished my math requirements my junior year. Anyway, the first math test hit me like a truck after never having to try in high school and I scored in the low 60s. The next three tests, I learned to study and got 398s in a row. The last week of class, the professor, who was a hard ass by the way and would kick you out for having your phone out called me up to her desk after class and said clearly you were having a bad day that first exam. So don't worry about that grade because I won't count it. It really changed my view of that professor. I had an English teacher back in high school that offered a mercy to everyone in the class. You could drop one assignment or test for the year. As someone who has blacked out when doing a speech two years before, I just told her to remove me from the speech list. Instead of shouting at my loud class for not shutting up before the lesson began, my history teacher decided to quietly tell the story of a pink elephant that wanted to be an astronaut. After a few seconds, people started to shut up and listen about the pink elephant. When everyone was quiet and listening, he stopped mid-story. As much as it made me respect him, why didn't you finish the story FFS? That cliffhanger. What was the story? I remember parts. The pink elephant wasn't like the other elephants so it had no friends and got bullied. So it decided to go to the moon because the moon looked lonely too. Thinking face. He was that kind of young. Cool teacher everyone liked. He knew how to handle a class. When I was in the first grade my mother gave me one of many really awful haircuts. The first day back at school afterward the kids picked on me horribly. So much that I ran out and hid. The principal found me and we went back to the classroom and he asked me to wait outside for a minute while he talked to the class. He then walked me to his office and bought me a coke the next day. First thing in the morning. We had an assembly with the entire school and he walked up on stage with his head shaved completely bald and talked about bullying and the like some 20 years down the road he had retired and I ran into him at the local college. S hook his hand and said, you probably don't remember me, but, yes I do. He interrupted and said my name and the event the man was and is a hero in my eyes. Mad respect to him. I told my English teacher about my unfortunate experience at my last school, just stupid people treating me like crap, and he approached me after class and said hey, I'm sorry that happened to you, you know there is a phrase in the English language that I think you ought to know, duck them. Awesome story, dude sounds like a total dude, but my favorite thing about this is how despite it being about a teacher using a swear word in conversation with a student, you censored the swear word when posting it on reddit. We had an exam, saying I'll test your honesty and your teamwork, I'm gonna leave the room once your exam starts, so we thought it's between honesty that we don't share answers with each other, and teamwork by cheating, we were so desperate, and cheated the exams, professor came back 5 minutes before the time is up and asked, so did you share your answers with one another, and yes we said, okay he said, since you are all honest and you proved to me that you had your teamwork as a class, I will exempt all of you for this exam. I had a professor once state that she doesn't believe in trick questions. Students trick themselves up enough without the professor helping that along. She never did put trick questions. There are teachers who give trick questions, you'd have to be an egomaniac. I had been put in a lower set due to class capacity issues. 
He started off with a speech around what we would be learning this year and then assigned work to the class. After that he walked up to me and gave me a big book with the syllabus and told me he knew I'm too smart for this class and instead of following what the class does he wants me to work through the syllabus at my pace. Faster than others being implied, and he would come and check on me after assigning work to everyone else. He said I could do lots of little each class but I needed to finish the book by the end of the year. Super duper motivated me to smash his class. Had a teacher like this my senior year. By some duckery in the education system. I was in an AP Calc and Algebra 1 at the same time. Thankfully I had a really cool teacher for Algebra 1. Who as long as I was working on my calc stuff or helping the other kids in the class. Let me get by with basically doing no actual class walk. I still had to do tests so she had some paperwork for me but other than that it was a dream compared to what it could have been. My speech class teacher. Public speaking. ETC. In my senior year of high school knew that I was a budding free speech anti-censorship guy. So for our debate project. She put me on the pro censorship team. I was pissed, but when I asked her about it she gave me a line about how the teams were already set and she wasn't going to change them. Over the next few days I found out that two of the people who were on the anti-censorship side were actually in favor it, and a few people on the other teams were likewise put on the sides that didn't match their own views. Even at the time, I saw what she was doing. But every time I think about it, I see just how brilliant she was at teaching us how to look at the merits of all sides of an argument. As well as how well she knew the attitudes and ideals of at least 60 odd students that took her classes. He admitted that he didn't particularly want to be a teacher but did it for a stable career. The type of guy who should have been an English PhD but didn't have the money to chase an academic career like that. He was way too good to be teaching high school English. Probably a teacher you guys deserved. I had a teacher in the 6th grade who gave me a C plus on a poster project that I turned in. When he saw my disappointment he asked, what grade do you think you should have gotten? I thought for a second and said a B plus. He immediately scratched out the grade and gave me a B plus. Tragically, I saw in the news a few years later that he drowned while on a fishing trip. That got to me. It was a professor, but she said she wasn't going to have a textbook for the class. Basically, she didn't respect the textbook representatives trying to take the farmer approach to force kids to buy an $170 access code. Instant respect. You just had to show up to the lectures and she teach you what you needed to know. I had a prof like that. The only textbook we had was his own. First day of class he said if we had already bought it to return it as he would print out the parts we needed as we went. Saved all of us close to $200 that semester. I had a teacher that really understood different types of learning. I was awful at testing and never did well in school. But I was very intelligent. He pulled me aside one day and said, Look, I know you're not an idiot but you're just not good at the school thing. I know you're good with your hands. If you can fix my rocking chair I'll pass you. So I went into my woodshop and fixed his rocking chair. He really had the respect of every student and he knew how to talk to us as equals and not children. He's literally touched the lives of tens of thousands of people with shit like that. I had a principal in high school that was extremely strict and was always looking to get people in trouble. It got to the point where everyone knew that even the teachers hated him. But none of them ever said anything about it because they didn't want to lose their jobs. Well, there was this one kid that was being accused of something he didn't actually do. And one teacher decided she'd had enough of the principal's bullshit and stood up for the kid. She was an amazing teacher and of course he fired her at the end of the school year. That didn't stop her from coming to my class's graduation the next year though. There was one other teacher that would make comments about the principal in class and insinuated his hatred toward him. Nobody snitched. And at the end of the school year on his last day of teaching, he wrote a note saying he quits because of the principal and left it on his desk and never returned. Love that man. My astronomy teacher in high school was a textbook nerd. Glasses. Bow tie. Mustache pocket protector, the whole deal. There was a group of senior girls that would mock him mercilessly. One day, he noticed a pack of cigarettes hanging out of one of their purses. As he walked by during his lecture, he reached down and pulled one cigarette out of the box. He proceeded to insert the tip of the cigarette into his nose and continued the lesson like nothing was wrong. 
This dude must have kept that cigarette hanging in his nose for 30 minutes without mentioning it once. At the end of class, he casually walked back to the girl's desk, grabbed the pack out of her purse, inserted the nose cigarette, then shook the pack and handed it back to the girl without a word. It was such a baller move. Rock on. Mr. Keith. My band director, he laughed with us, he talked to us like people instead of lowly teenage students, and he read to us, the power of positive thinking, he saw a need for it, some of the kids were bored out of their skulls and thought it was stupid, but some of us listened, personally, I love that he recognized a problem and took action, I've been out of high school for wow, 30 years this year, I'm still in touch with him. He's the most influential person in my life that is not related to me, and it's because he chose to invest and do more than bare minimum as a teacher. I'm epileptic and had a large set of seizures not long before finals in high school chemistry. My seizures tend to mess with my memory, and those multiple seizures had devastated my memory of everything I'd learned in class that semester. I was doing reasonably well in class but absolutely bombed the test. After the failed test I ended up just shy of passing the class and he decided to give me a bonus question that passed me. I didn't expect that, but the empathy was nice to see from a teacher. Even still, the whole situation sucked. My math teacher told me I should have studied better. He then offered for me to retake the test which seems reasonable enough but there was no point as it was just all gone. I've only had one since that was worse than that. But fortunately I've got an understanding employer. It doesn't hurt that I've got a union rep as well. He was a substitute. But he literally said do whatever you want on the computers. But if a teacher walks in act like you're working. I felt so sad that he wasn't a real teacher. But I genuinely still think about him. Haha <laughs> I had an exam invigilator like this. It was the last exam for our high schools. He said during the exam if you want to cheat. Then cheat but don't make any noise. And if someone comes in. Act like you guys are super busy writing for the exams. And literally the entire ducking class exchanged answers that day. Good times. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.